Okay, hi everyone. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Omer Kailaf, co-founder and CEO of Innovis Technologies, and I'm happy uh, to talk today about the path of uh, LiDAR to uh, worldwide commercialization. Innovis, and I'm going to the first stage. Um, you can see here uh, the background of Innovis. We started in 2016 uh, to develop LiDARs for autonomous driving. Uh, I'm holding here our first product, uh, Innovis One. That's uh, the product uh, that today is being adopted by several customers. Uh, the first design win we had in the market was for BMW already uh, in late 2017. And BMW is about to launch their series production level three using Innovis LiDAR. So I think that uh, that's a big step uh, in the market to see already uh, level three in series production. I think it's also related to the topic of uh, commercialization. Another program that we won later uh, in 2021 with, uh, with an, another German customer uh, to take a level four to the market. And that's also due end of this year or beginning of next year. It's a very interesting application, a people mover and using multiples of our lighters. <clears throat> okay, so uh, you can see here again uh, the picture of uh, the BMW vehicle uh, with uh, our lighter that is mounted in the grill. And that's uh, the lighter that uh, BMW is going to use uh, when going to the market. Um, uh, here we talk about how Innovis is positioning itself to get ready to the LiDAR uh, commercialization uh, by learning which markets are going to be growing uh, the fastest and, and the strongest. And you can see here a graph that shows how we expect the automotive market to grow. The first market that we expect uh, to grow is uh, the level two and, uh, and level two plus. There are several car makers that are now making their sourcing decisions. Uh, it's worldwide, it's in Europe, in the US, uh, and in Asia. And Innovis currently is competing on, on several programs. And the interesting element about this market is that uh, it's going to grow very fast. And the decisions that are made this year or begin of next year will eventually determine which lighter companies will eventually be uh, uh, used. And I expect not to, to have more than uh, two or maybe three uh, main suppliers of lighters. Going to the next page, uh, you can see here uh, our, what we learned about the market requirements. To support the automotive market, there are multiple demands which are very harsh related to cost sensitivity uh, and performance requirements and obviously quality and validation. Since the LiDAR is, is planned to be uh, sold as a car to uh, privately owned vehicles, those are vehicles that needs to sustain for many, many years, and therefore the requirements on reliability are very high. Uh, you are welcome uh, to check on our website where we published a white paper that talks about uh, these requirements. We have studied these requirements quite thoroughly, uh, working with uh, many car makers. And uh, we built the, uh, the solution that we see as the right fit for the market. We have today a new generation, Innovis 2. And, and that's a product that meets uh, all of the most demanding requirements in terms of performance, but at also at a very attractive uh, price point, which is around $500. That's what we see as uh, the penetration price, uh, or adoption price for the next at least five years. With that, we offer also the Innovis app, which is our perception software. That's the software that uh, translates the, three, the 3D information from raw data to object detection and classification. 
the next step in uh, the market would be uh, level four. And there are several RFQs that we started to get from uh, different customers that uh, are uh, interested in launching autonomous shuttles, trucks, uh, or even taxis. Uh, there are multiple players in this uh, field uh, which we work with. Those requirements are slightly different. So going to the next page, you can see here, uh, when you try to uh, drive such a vehicle, uh, it's usually in more complex uh, scenarios. And for, therefore, it's not sufficient to have just one single LiDAR that is looking to the front of the vehicle. Uh, the, the requirement is to have zero blind spot because you want to see people that are also standing uh, nearby uh, through the, the body of the vehicle. And since it requires multiple sensors, there is very high cost sensitivity and also uh, industrial design. Having multiples of flighters on the vehicle is becoming cumbersome. Uh, Innoviz is offering multiple uh, solutions and now we are also offering a product uh, that we are now developing, which we call the Innoviz 360. It is designed to allow uh, support to level four due to ability to see at much wider uh, field of view. Primarily, I would say uh, the requirement is for 180 degrees or 270 degrees for the corner of the vehicle. Having Innoviz 360 with the Innoviz 2 and the perception software provides a, a one-stop shop to different customers. Now, uh, going to the next page, uh, I'm talking here about uh, requirements or I would say uh, applications that are beyond automotive. The automotive market, there is a certain S-curve, uh, an avalanche in which the market would uh, grow and it's going to grow very fast. And that's a certain size uh, TAM, which is about $55 billion. But eventually there is a long tail of opportunities that are substantially uh, bigger than the total of automotive, only that it's very, very fragmented. Uh, on this page, you can see uh, several pictures of uh, different applications, if it is related to uh, last mile delivery, uh, robotics, surveillance, cranes, etc. There, there are really many applications. I would go as far as say that Today, many applications are using 2D sensors, but uh, would eventually be replaced with uh, 3D. Using the third dimension is very beneficial when it comes to uh, helping to uh, move objects in a 3D world. And I expect that uh, the 3D market would grow as, at least as fast as the, uh, the image uh, sensing market. So because this market is very fragmented and uh, there is also a need for a more seamless integration, it's very different than the automotive space where you, there is a certain period of time of uh, integration and testing. Here you need to support many uh, very diverse kind of uh, customers and it requires from us a different kind of, uh, I would say, tool set uh, that will help these customers to uh, to be able to use our LiDARs. It's related to uh, analytics software and control. So Innoviz is continuously working to uh, develop the tool set that is needed for the different markets. And we are working on additional solutions uh, that will provide the best fit uh, to these markets. Even here, uh, there are diverse solutions. The LiDAR by itself, which provides the 3D data is not uh, sufficient. The data requires some uh, software capabilities. When it comes to automotive, it is related to object detection, classification, uh, primarily for highway driving, movement detection, guardrails and lane marking. There are certain features uh, that we are developing for these applications and we are offering it today to customers 
for that we are uh, we we do have a pricing model which comes at the, as a as a single uh, as a as a fixed software license and a subscription which is related to support ongoing support to support uh, other applications such as uh, level four and and level five there is a need uh, for additional capabilities. Uh, in this in this scenario, it's, it's not only highway driving, it is also multiple uh, directional uh, driving, multiple sensors fusion, and supporting zero blind spot, as I referred to earlier. This also is a package that we are developing. Uh, it is coming on top of the package that we developed for level three, and we plan to sell it as part of our total solution. When it comes to the non-automotive, here, uh, there are additional features that are required. It comes uh, on top of the capabilities of object detection classification. Uh, there is a, a need for a SLAM. SLAM is related to the ability to create accurate age, uh, high definition mapping and uh, data analytics because uh, different applications have different needs and different, uh, I would say, KPIs. And, and we are building the tools that will allow this activity to be as seamless as possible. The fees are uh, dependent on the application. Uh, so here you can see uh, our four uh, products that we are offering. We have the Innovis One. It's our first automotive grade product that is already engaged in two series production and already is, is used by several very interesting non-automotive applications, such as uh, cranes and automation of uh, several activities in logistics or ports. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, dynamics that I see in the market uh, that 3D sensing is now taking more and more part of. Innovis2 is a product that we are uh, now taking to scale. It's a significant improvement in performance and lower cost. And as I said, also the 360, which is going to allow us to penetrate uh, other markets and uh, the automotive grade. As a summary, uh, this is a, a picture uh, that you can see the different applications in the market. Innovis currently is very focused on the passenger vehicle, the, what we call here the consumer vehicle. For, uh, for that market, we are offering the Innovis 1 and the Innovis 2, and of course the perception software. There are several uh, RFQs that we're competing on today on very interesting applications, such as level 2 plus and level 3 in significantly higher volume. I expect that this program would be decided soon and would launch uh, end of 24, and would grow very fast. Second is the robotaxis and shuttles. Uh, here we provide also the, the 360 and it provides a, a very uh, optimized solution. Uh, I think that in, I believe very much in the shuttle uh, automation due to the fact that it solves quite a significant problem already. Uh, but it does not require as harsh conditions as a passenger vehicle on the highway. These vehicles are designed to travel in the city, which adds complexity, but also or, but only in very low speed, in a very controlled environment. And I believe that this is a, a, a market uh, that will grow very fast because there is a big uh, demand in, in the market for additional public transportation due to uh, lack of drivers and the cost of drivers. So this is, uh, this is actually expected to launch end of this year or beginning of next year, and I expect it to grow fast. Trucks is, uh, is another uh, very uh, interesting uh, business case uh, due to the lack of drivers and the cost of drivers and also the safety of uh, drivers. There are several teams in mostly in the US today uh, that are working on automation of trucks. Trucks have uh, slightly different requirements than the passenger vehicle. 
It requires also to be able to travel not only on the highway, uh, it requires to have a longer period of, uh, uh, of uh, stopping the car, braking period. And eventually, uh, the, the business potential of this market is, is very clear because that the cost of the technology is significantly less uh, than the cost of uh, the professional drivers, and it will allow to scale uh, transportation of trucks uh, significantly. Other than that, uh, I think it's clear in, in seeing uh, several applications such as robotics and logistics and mapping, uh, which will be able to leverage on, on our solutions, including the 360, and uh, those will grow uh, uh, rapidly in the next uh, few years uh, to reach uh, quite a significant uh, market that would probably at some point uh, would exceed uh, the market of automotive, uh, but only in a very long tail uh, aggregated uh, through many, many other applications. So um, to, to say um, eventually, uh, there is some tendency in the market to believe that uh, LIDARs equal only autonomous driving, but that's completely wrong. Uh, LIDARs are eventually 3D sensors, and 3D sensors have uh, many other use cases which could uh, serve uh, you know, the applications that I discussed, but also uh, gaming, uh, augmented reality, metaverse, etc. So I believe that uh, 3D would become a, a much more significant uh, element in our lives, uh, far beyond uh, just automotive. Um, thank you very much. And I appreciate uh, the invitation. I hope uh, that you enjoy this uh, session. Thank you. Bye-bye.